Alright, uh, welcome to the video. I'll be teaching you how to make a, a stat build because everyone, I've seen so many comments, not just on my videos, but on everyone's videos. Like everyone's videos I see, I always see, yo, what are your stats? Uh, can you show us the stats? What are your stats, man? I see it so much and it's like, we're in update 4 already. You should know how to make some good stats. But if you don't, then I'm, I'm about to teach you, bro. Alright, so we're gonna, get, we're gonna get into it. So first, uh, the most important thing, in my opinion, is your fighting style. If you you need to know what your fighting style revolves around, as well as your weapon. Actually, no, the main, actually, the most important thing is actually your fruit. All right, your fruit is the most important thing. Like, if you don't have a fruit, that's fine, because you can do good to assess and like a fighting style with a sword or something. But whatever. Let's say you need to know what your fruit is for. If you don't know what your fruit is for, then you're not gonna get anything good. You're not. You're not gonna be able to make a good build. For example, I have Gura, right? And I see a lot of comments. I see. I seen this with the comments of mainly like videos, like videos that have like oh you know, like sword builds, right? A build that revolves around your sword, because the fruit that they have is not a damaging fruit. For example, you see how Gura punch does like what, 52, right? But here's the thing, I only have, sure I have only 115 to fruit and it does 52, which is pretty good. But like here's the thing. Garuda ha the Garuda doesn't have burn damage and it's just a one punch it won't hit for multiple times and blast clutcher you know what that does 88 88 98 yeah that's good but like that's it's good and has good range as well but still hits for once you're doing 80 damage once or however much you do like 118 once just one time and this thing this thing's cooldown is kind of long in arena and then you have your grab move, which is good, but the grab move hits three times, and I think at most I've seen it does like 80 for the last hit. That last hit. Not good. And you have a counter. So, of course, Guru is not going to be, you know, a damaging fruit, which is why you're going to want a sword build or, or an M1 build. Not a sword build. An M1 build, which is either sword or, or black leg or something, right? And this goes for any fruit that, like, okay, the main fruits, like, that are, like, sword builds would be, like, like Zushi, right? Things that, they, things that have combo extenders. If you have a shit ton of combo extenders, then your fruit is probably an M1 build. Your fruit is not going to be a fruit build because they, they're combo extenders. Like, just look at that. That's that's one combo extender off of one move. You have you have two combo extenders with Gura. You have, you, could, you have your grab. What? The, M1? You have your... Whoa. Hello? Am I lagging? Okay, whatever. I guess that's bugged. Okay, I don't know why I think bugged, but like... You, you got your shock punch, which can be, which is only, I'm pretty sure it's only a true combo extender if you do this combo right here, which is extremely hard to do. And then you have a grab move, right? You can, you grab it. And the way I do that, that's called sword second. What I just did, it's called sword second. I pulled it way too fast, that's called sword second. You use, you use a move and you dash at the same time. Only works with Roku Shiki, by the way. But anyways, um, yeah, two combo extenders. Two combo extenders is extremely good. Like, actually so good. And... That's why you want to be a sword build, because if you're doing 50 and one damage, right, and you do this combo right here, and let's say someone has like 1500 health, and you have cutlass with Gura. This is an example for Gura, right? And then you do your grab, you get another M1 combo from the Geppo. You know how broken that is. That's so broken. That's so good because your build is M1. Now we're gonna get into fruit builds. If you don't like M1 thing, that's fine. We're gonna get into M uh, fruit builds. Uh, let me teach you right now. Horrible fruit builds, all right. Horrible fruit builds are builds with that are like Gura. Gura is not a good fruit build. Any, any. Okay, my bad. Whoops, my bad. But uh, any fruit is actually really good for f any. Okay, for farming, this is for PvP. For farming, just mag them fruit, all right. For farming, just just put a ton into fruit and do your do your thing, you know. Uh, if you, if you don't have a fruit, then that's that's kind of tough. Uh, just use a fighting style like two SS. Two SS is good, or or I don't know. Yeah, two SS. Anyways. But you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna mag them to fruit for farming. But we're gonna get to PvP stats. But anyways, um as I was saying, uh fruits that are good, that are only like good like fruit, like seven hundred fruit builds. Like if you have a fruit build or a fruit that is a not M1, like M1 base, like combo extending, you're gonna want a, a lot into fruit, like maybe like seven hundred or something, right? For update four. And you're gonna be and those fruits would be like Mera, Magu, uh Pika is okay, I guess. But you want fruits that do burn damage, so Magu, Magumera, Magumera, I don't know what I said before, but Magumera is definitely like fruit build, fruit based. So Magu, Mera, 
Um, I guess you could say Pika. What else? What else is there? Tori is actually one of them since it also has burn damage. It's pretty good, and it heals you back. So that's all. Oh, that's good. And then like, and he, you can. I don't think he is a fruit build because they have stuns. And what do stuns do? They give you M ones. You get a stun, you get an M one. All right. So therefore, he is a, a M one build. Zushi, everybody knows that's an M one build. Uh, Girls M one build or yeah, sword build, whatever. And then Magu, Mare, Pika. I guess you can argue that those are M one builds. Goro M1 build because paralyzation is a combo said there. Um, what else is there? You have your collier with uh, Goro, and yeah, that's literally it. And now, okay, now we get into it. Now we get into it, right? Now we get into the main part the stats. The stats, right? Where this before I was just telling you how, like, how to tell the difference of your stats, okay? Now we actually get into the stat build how to make your own stat build, okay? Like I said before, you need to know what your fruit is good for. If it's good for burn damage, what do you want? You want fruit. You want fruit. If it's good for combo endings, you want sword. Okay? So look, let me tell you. Let's say I have Magu, alright? Um, I'm gonna go through. Okay, we're starting to talk to myself. If you're using Black Leg, um, I'm gonna be sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what the shrink cap is for Black Leg or like Mink, alright? I heard it's 300 or something. I heard it was 300, I'm not too sure, I can't, I might be wrong, but I heard it was 300, okay. So you don't, because strength has a cap, strength has a cap, has a stat cap, you're not gonna be, if you have a cap on your strength, you're not gonna be doing more damage, because the cap for it is 300. Uh, stamina, if you're mink, you really only need 30 to 60, depending on your fruit. Uh, I have Goro, or I have Gura, so I only need 30. But let's say you have something that takes a lot of stamina, like Pika, you might want me like 60, 80. But if you're not mink, if you're not mink, don't worry, I got you. If you're not mink, just double it, alright? If you're not mink, just double it. Just double what a mink would have. Uh, so, for example, I mean, if you're running my Gura build, have 60 stamina, maybe. You can still rock 30. You can still rock 30. There's nothing wrong with that. But you might want to go, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, 60 or 50, alright? Now, defense. For defense, you're always gonna want 1,300 health. You know, you want to have above... You want above, uh, I think 1,250, oh, 1,250. If you don't have 1,250 or above, that's your your build is horrible. Your build is like actually so bad. You need health, a lot of health in this in this update, all right. And you need at least at least 1,200. If you if, and having only 1,200 is still kind of pushing it because there was building update three with 1,200 health, right? And they were really goaded. Uh, but yeah, 1,200. At least it's still kind of I would say it's really low, so you're gonna want you're gonna want more than that in my opinion. But you can rock 1200 if you want more damage. You can be a glass cannon basically. Um, Devil fruit, like I said, you have Magu. You if you have Magu or one of those similar fruits that do a lot of burn damage, you want like 700 to 750, or like six okay 650 to 750 for fruit. That is that is my, what I say is good. All right, uh, that's what I say is good uh, for like. That that fruit based build, uh, gun mastery. Uh, no, that's trolls. You can, that's a troll. I use gun sometimes. Now, of course, Rokushiki mastery or black light mastery. Anything of those, you know. Obviously, you will get up to what you want. For Rokushiki, I recommend only twenty five. Obviously, because rank cock you. And if you if you want to go for uh, was Rokugan, you can get Rokugan because that's an, also another combo extension that you can use. And it's, it does a hundred damage with like zero strength. That's three hundred damage on top of your. Uh, that's a free 100 damage on top of your combo extender if you hit it into a wall or something. And let's see what else we have. We have sword. Last one is sword. Um, obviously, it's this just same thing for fruit. Just switch it up. If you if you're using a M1 base build, you want to use 650 to 750 sword. All right. Or if let's say you're doing for like you, you want more health, you know, sacrifice sword. Never sacrifice. Okay. Never sacrifice stamina, never sacrifice your Rokushi Master. Sacrifice if you want more health, sacrifice sword. If you want if you want more sword damage, you're gonna have to sacrifice like fruit. Try not to sacrifice your, your defense, because you're gonna need that. And now we're gonna get into like the opposite way for devil fruit. Let's say you have main devil fruit, how much sword do you want? How much sword do you want if you have a main devil fruit build? Uh, if you have cutlass, for example, if you're having if you're running cutlass magu, 90 is good. 90 is good. If you're running black leg goro flowers, um, I would still say run 90, just so if you ever need to, you can switch to Cutlass if you want to try it out, or if you if it's also good, you know. I see having the most the the the, uh, the sword that takes the most skill points is good if you have it. That is, 
If you don't have it, there's no point having 90. If you only have flowers, but you don't have colors, then just run whatever flowers it needs for its move. Even though it's kind of cringe. Same thing for, uh, and then, and, oh yeah, my bad. And then, what was I saying? Oh yeah, only has it that much in fruit. Now let's say you have a sword build, and you have like 650, so how much do you want in, in devil fruit? Well, you're gonna, you're gonna want the minimum, basically. You're gonna want the, the literally, the same thing as sword. You're gonna want the bare minimum. You never want to go a hybrid build. Hybrid builds in this game are not as good as you think. I, lo I like using hybrid builds, but they're just not as good as a main sword or main fruit build. It's just not as good, you know? So you're gonna want the you can you're gonna want the minimum for second to last move or for the ultimate if you want to have it. That's what you want. And then yeah. So that's how to make a good stat build. Um <laughs> hopefully people will will know what to do with this like these builds. Cause I, I just leaked my build for this, but I'm probably gonna change it. I'm gonna get uh Rokugan, maybe. But yeah, that's how you make your own good build. That's really all there is to it. You just gotta know what you're using. You need to know what you're using. If you don't know what you're using, um there's really no point like you if you don't know what you're using then you're gonna make a horrible build and yeah you don't need that much stamina i'm telling you this right now you don't need that much stamina like yeah for you made so you need more stamina but you don't need that much because reality in the, in the arena fight in arena fight you have two stocks you run out of stamina you you, you know it's okay because you can reset if you, if you have another stock that is if you don't have another stamina, that's tough you gotta be conservative as well. Don't just go crazy. You gotta be conservative. And obviously, in PS, it doesn't matter. You know, you can get pads with your friends. But yeah, that's about it. Um. Uh, okay, obviously, for like farming builds, like dungeons and stuff, you're gonna want, you know, a lot of stamina, a lot of fruit. You don't want that much health, you don't want a sword. Because, like, you want that fruit damage. You're probably gonna want like a thousand fruit or something, like 200 health. That 200 health, 1,500 fruit, whatever. And then, like, you know, 100, 200 stamina. So that way you can keep spamming out those moves. That's what you want. That's for farming. Don't, PvP is a lot more hard to like, get right. Anyways, that's going to be the video. Uh, hopefully this helps some people out. Uh, if it does help you, why not sub, bruh? Because uh, I'm trying to hit 20k. We already we hit 15k. I'm trying to hit 20 now. Uh, let's go. And yeah, that's the end of it.